because what you just saw looks totally easy, uh, we're going to do a, an even easier version in which you have to improv your night karaoke. The whole thing lasts one minute, four slides every 15 seconds. So we need one, two, three, four volunteers from the audience to stand up here and do this. I assure you it's worth your time and it's most entertaining. But you have to improv your content All right. once you see the slide that actually goes up. And can he see the slide on here? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, even better. He can. Okay. <laughs> Put on your forehead, right? <laughs> exactly. You're going to have to do this number. <laughs> so. We're going to have the little squares with the question marks in them again? <laughs> Hopefully not. That was just like still a really great presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Okay, are, are we ready? 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 Okay, I'm going to pass this to you. RJ's going to hit go. You've got one minute. Good luck. Ignite karaoke. Karaoke. And here we have my old cube, because it's old because of the furniture, the, the classic furniture that uh, we like to have. But um, it looks like there's somebody, uh, a, a thing in my chair. And these are my chickens. I actually have chickens, um, but they moved. And if you ever see a chicken coop moving on US 64, because when you move from Cary to Pittsburgh, you got to move a chicken coop. Um, these guys were dancing while I was moving the chicken coop, and this guy's helping me move the chicken coop after it like fell apart. I don't, I don't know. What to say. Uh, so this is not a way that you want to do um, validation testing, uh, because in the end you'll end up with people looking like this. I mean, who wants that? Uh, these are not cat pictures. Um, this has nothing to do with cat memes, um, but. Come on, next slide. <laughs> That's it, you're done! Theme! How hard can this be? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this is back in my IKEA days. Wow. Can you know, do you know how many Allen keys are missing from this set? <laughs> oh, this is like that. Oh, this looks familiar. Wow, let's just back to the zoo. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is DJ time. Why do we have a DJ here? Or is that coming up at the, uh, at the Open spaces? We do a DJ thing? No? You've lost weight since that picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Power ranges? Really? <laughs> this is what happens when you get angry customers. You need to suit up and get protective. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so this, this is what we like to think of ourselves. Sitting there relaxed as the infrastructure totally takes care of itself and all of our users are using all of our products exactly the way we intended them to. In reality, this is what actually happens. To sit around as an house burns down on energy. As the entire house burns down on energy, you're wishing for the days when you were that carefree, laid back panda sitting in this tree with the good users. And this is how you celebrate at the end of the day, in your wonderful vision of how the world should be. As all of your problems are taken care of, the bug count is at zero, your pipeline is looking all green the whole way through, and life simply couldn't be better, right before it all burns down around you. <laughs> and you the world burns down around you. You're having a wonderful, happy day, and then you open the news, and you realise everything was merely a dream. This is what happens, and eventually you also realise your pipeline so, the other day, this was the scene in my living room while I was trying to recollect the events of the day, and I was thinking about how my code looked pretty much like this, and afterward, 
I was so confused that I just had to put my head down on the table, but it was okay because I had some very sympathetic people around me to console me after my day of testing. And ultimately, everything worked out all right because I was able to deploy my code, but things got a little bit messy when I got my feedback and I, oh. <laughs> once, I, once I found out what happened, I was a little bit shocked, but I was once again in a good company and I just have to remember it's not all politics. Thanks to all our carriers and volunteers.